Today I want to talk about the MITS Altair 680 microcomputer, which was announced in November of 1975. This ad is from the back cover of Byte Magazine, issue number 12, August 1976. Here's the MITS Altair 680, which uses a 6800 molar roller microprocessor chip. It's a rather small unit, about 12 by 12 and about 6 inches deep and came with uh, 1K of memory, 6800 CPU, RS-232 serial port, and provisions for EEPROMs, pretty limited. Here's a front panel of the MITS Altair 6800 computer. Even though it's a microcomputer, it has a, the configuration looks very much like the mini computers of the old days with the address 16-bit address uh, set of switches for entering the address, the eight data switches since this is an 8-bit machine, and of course uh, deposit, halt, and run, and reset. And one of the reasons these computers never became very popular, first of all, the 6800 processor chip did not become very popular as a general use uh, utility chip in uh, home computing. The other reason is that people didn't like all these switches. Steve Wozniak, who designed the Apple I and then real shortly after that the Apple II, uh, took advantage of that, was a very bright designer, and had no switches on the front panel. Basically, you had to use a terminal or keyboard with it, and that was one of the reasons, among many others, it became very popular. A little view of the outside back of the 6800. A couple of I.O. connectors, and of course, a fuse uh, panel on the, on the back side and the outlet for the fan. Here's an inside view of the Fitz Altair 680. The main CPU board doesn't allow for any expansion. The front panel uh, has a socket on it where the CPU board is actually plugged into the front panel and the CPU board is bolted to the, to the frame. These cables over here go to some accessories on the front, on the uh, top cover. We'll show you that in a minute. Here's a 1K of memory read-write memory. Here's an EEPROM chip. Here's a 6800 processor chip, and I've already mentioned the front panel in here. Some of the power supply regulators are over here, and the rest control circuitry along with the crystal for controlling. Let's give a little better view of the main CPU board, which is the main board. Here's the 1000 word read-write memory on the board itself. The EEPROM memory some control circuitry, there's a 6800 CPU, some more control circuitry, the power supply components, and everything that makes up the CPU board. This is the cover for the 680 microcomputer. The expansion was built into the cover and bolted to the inside top of the cover. Here are the I.O. cables, in, input output cables tying back here to the main chassis. There is the power supply uh, transformer and regulator and fan. There's a little wire wrap control circuitry controlling 3K of read-write memory. This was added as an addition to give the computer 4,000 words of read-write memory. Here's the full specification of the Mitz Altair 680 using the Motorola 6800 microprocessor chip. If you stop the video, I think you can read the uh, specifications and these prices. The Altair 6800 came with a reasonable instruction manual. Here's the part that goes with the main PC board. Inside you had the com component checkoff to check all your components. There was also pictorial diagrams showing you how to put the various components together. And Placement diagrams showing you where to place the various components on the computer board and the other boards. Here's my original letter in purchasing this computer. You see it was in 1991 and we've been collecting computer memorabilia since the late 50s. It's almost 20 years ago that we received this uh, computer from the original owner.